John D. Rockefeller said, don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. I mean, we've heard this before, right? And I got a buddy of mine, uh, his name is Nate Ridgeway, inspires me to all get out because he literally this year is working on running a hundred mile marathon. I don't think it's called a marathon. It's like an ultra mega grand poobah run, okay? And for me, it's like to run like three or five miles is kind of a big task for me. And for a lot of us, maybe just a mile, right? But the thing is, is like when, when, I, when I started talking to him and he did a, uh, I think he did a Periscope uh, a few months back talking about this. And I was just like going through my head like, holy moly, this is crazy. And here's my point though, that literally stretched my mind of what's really possible, right? Because he's a friend of mine, I know him, and he's gonna do a hundred mile run and the question I want to ask us, I say us, I'm talking about me and you, is what are we, what are we kind of settling for? Like, is there, could we be doing something way better than what we're doing right now? Could we be a, a way better person than we are right now? Well, probably, yeah. But there are some of us, and I'm talking to you right now, that you're doing better than 90% of the people out there, but that's not your best. See, we need to better our best. See, we gotta beat ourselves what we did yesterday or the day before. And so this comparing ourselves to other people, sometimes if, if you have the right mindset could inspire you, but also it's kind of making some of us comfortable because some of us are talented and we're really great at stuff and we're just kind of whisking away and we're making it happen and we're already beating everybody else. And we're like, hey, I'm just kind of coasting. And I'm here to tell you, don't coast. You have to constantly challenge yourself because if you just rely on talent, for the rest of your life, I'm telling you, people are gonna catch up, right? And the world needs to see the best you possible. That is why I'm constantly going to seminars and reading books and listening to MP3s and podcasts and all kinds of stuff. Why? Because I wanna keep on getting better. Why? Because you know what? If I can help you, the leader, and you've got a team, whether it's in the office or a sales team or whatever that is, if I can help the leader, then the, then the leader gets better, guess what? The team gets better right? And, and, and that's all I want to do. And so don't settle for your, you think where you're at right now and that's doing good. Let's go to the next level. Uh, some of you might say, well, Jefferson, hold on a second. I worked really hard to get to this point. That's cool, right? And when you get to a level that you're happy with, you can celebrate that. Okay, you want to integrate that into your being, into your molecules of your body, like integrate that. And that's now, that's your new baseline. That's where you live. Okay, but if that becomes your new baseline, where do you go from there? Do you just stay there? Right, there's always another level. See, I think as us as human beings, we have to keep on shooting forth and growing because I think one of the pillars of happiness for us for, as human beings is progress. We wanna know that we're progressing in some, you know, in some direction, right? And so once again, I'm just here as kind of Uncle Jefferson to say, hey, look, we're doing great. You might be doing great, but could we even be doing better? and get, get ready to get to, to, to prepare to do that another launch that you're gonna do uh, to, to the next level of where you're gonna go. And so if you just achieved it, hey, celebrate, you know, for the next you know, couple of days or a week or so, right? But then you gotta be thinking about what is, pick your next goal, what, what is that going to be, okay? So with that said, you know, what is your next level for you? Comment below, I wanna, I wanna hear what you're talking about, I wanna hear what you're thinking, and if this video helped you think or kind of uncover some of the things maybe you've already been thinking about, and maybe I just articulated it a little bit more for you to help you kind of bring it down to brass tacks, right? So comment below. I look forward to helping you arrive at your next antenna destination, healthy, wealthy, and happy.